Hey everyone, welcome Excalibur here. So today I'm going to show you a full guide for the Gate of the Void because the last video was a very specific one. So this one I will explain everything in the Gate of the Void. So there are a few modes in the Gate of the Void you need to understand first. There are a lot of currencies that you need to understand what they do. So there are like static buildings that they don't do anything or they just th to serve one purpose like the void temple so the void temple will show you your progress in different modes and these modes gives you bonuses in the gate of the void like when you finish aspen dungeon that would increase the level of all e5 heroes by 20 levels so this will make your heroes go like 350 and when you finish the seven stages in broken spaces this will increase the amount of materials obtained at the gate of the void by 15 percent that includes all of these you know all of this uh, materials like gold spirit here promotions um chaos stones monster souls magic dust stillers um cot all of all of the uh, all of the above and when you finish campaign, which is nobody ever did, I mean, I've never seen like a level 500 uh, player. But this will increase the output of the auto battle by, you know, I'm, I'm level like 240 and I already done like most of it. So it will differ by your level uh, or your progress in campaign, which uh, it goes from like 30 to like 120. And if you, I mean, I've never seen one like 500 plus level, so yeah, 120 is the max you can get at the moment. And also, when you finish the Tower of Oblivion, that will increase the max HP uh, of your heroes in the Gate of the Void by 30%. Okay, how about Sea Land? So, with each Sea Land, that will um, increase the damage against all factions by 30% in the gate of the void only so when you finish all of them so all factions will increase damage against um, against void um, opponents by 30% so shadow goes against forest you know fortress against shadow and so on this is the void temple as fast as possible okay now the obelisk of heroes which is like um, <laughs> it's, it's a whale gallery so here you can see like these numbers represent the amount of um, these are the points for uh, e5 heroes and v4 heroes that each of these whales have so if you read the description so all of the players you have to unlock the gate of the void are ranked at, on the Blizzard of Heroes. So players ranked based on their points. Ah, let's go straight to the points. If you have a 10 star, that means 10 points. E1, 15, 20 for E2, E3, and so on. So every skill enhancement in print activates each hero 10 points. So this means the uh, void enables. So if you have a V4 hero, that means 40 points plus 50, that means 90 points for an E5 V4 hero. And the top 100 players will be displayed on the Blessing of Heroes. That means these guys have like tons of E5 heroes, V4 heroes, and so on. And each faction have their uh, have its own hero. Like Light, we have Barry, of course, and Forest. And yeah, you, you're gonna find tons of whales in this. Okay, this is building, useless building number two. Okay, let's go to the evolution cube. So here is like your uh, transcendence hero management. So in order to um, get a new hero, you need 5 million cores of transcendence. These cores you can get from different modes in the void. So let's say that I have like a queen, I want to convert this one to be a transcendent Scarlet Queen Halora, you need 5 million of these. You can also replace a, tran a transcendent hero or you can regress a transcendent hero. This is the evolution cube as fast as possible. So, Combus of Transcendent 
which you can hear summon heroes using uh, cores and with uh, when you summon heroes using cores you will get tons of um, crystals of transcendence so you can select a light and hero uh, or dark hero on the right and you can select other factions hero in here which you have like this percent will go higher the more you uh, summon in here so there are two modes for summoning the first one is fate which is like a gambling mode you know everyone uses it because you know we love we love a good gamble and this is like the straightforward one with each 15 cores he will get a guaranteed sphere a transcending sphere so a transcending sphere is another currency in the gate of the void which each one of these when you get it can be uh, can be converted to a crystal of transcendence or a stellar shard which is this one is the best choice you can go for because this one will help you increase your void imprinted levels for your heroes okay what's next realms gate so realms gate is another mode you can fight bosses you can collect resources and um, I left a another tutorial on how to um, play well in the realms gate so give me a moment I'll get in another account so I can show you guys um, what we can do in the realms gate so this is another account here we go so this is like a smash i'm doing a smash on these accounts because i don't have time to go one by one but you should go by one by one and uh yeah this is it so this is realms gate so with each stage you will face bosses you will face um it's bosses basically you will hit like um, explosion items blessing bonuses which will increase your heroes like crit damage hp whatever and uh, also you will hit mines so when you have this mine let me uh, do a quick you know quick fight here open as you can see here you can get like tons of resources and you can fight like bosses like these so It's a really fun mode if you are if you're into like this kind of um, fighting modes. So you can go and fight like bosses and stuff, and uh, you will get like tons of resources with with each one you kill. You will get like tons of resources for the void and for even the normal game modes. You get like a spirit, you get gold, you get tons of cool stuff, and yeah with each uh, when you hit a mine which we will go into uh, I'm going to show you what to do with it so when you hit a mine in uh, the realms gate this is a guaranteed 8,000 crystals of star ascendance I'll just go skip right to the mine okay so you will see here a requirement so the requirement for this mine is like an 8 star um, so I'm going to use my glacium here so you will get like 7,000, 8,000 so you will just leave him exploring here and yeah I don't have time for this account so just go to smash so this is the realness gate as fast as possible it's just you, you get like shitload of resources from here and when you hit a mine, just just go and explore the freaking mine. All right, so Galactic Tree. So the Galactic Tree will increase monster damage bonus. So this one will give you tons of tons of stats for your heroes. Like it will give you fixed HP, a block, and special bonus for uh, specific um, factions. Like each faction have like a and uh, this is a mage pet it will give you uh, controlled immunity fixed attack and so on so in order to obtain these heroes you need to hatch these eggs and each egg have like different types of heroes 
and different types of upgrade materials these all of these are just uh, star spawn which are these pets right here and this is the upgrade material consider this one as a spirit for your heroes stardust so you use this um, resource to upgrade your heroes and these are like a promotion stone so you will go each like 10 levels or 14 levels or whatever so these pets basically gives you tons of extra stats for your heroes and i mean if you have like an upgraded uh, tons of upgraded uh, pets i mean you can make a full like one star team and start kicking ass with it i mean I, i've seen barry doing it like with one star and three stars so yeah it's cool and uh, the void vortex so the void vortex is another pve mode which will give you tons of resources so in order to uh, yeah i forgot to mention this in order to unlock the gate of the void you must have an e5 hero so if when you get your first e5 hero you want to unlock this one go straight here and open on this gift box and claim all of this freaking gold yeah tons of gold tons of progress don't forget to to do this okay so with each stage of these we have tons of like forerunner this is like the stages you can go on fight you know get fights in planets you fight in pve teams like these get your team here and start fighting so you set your lineup and also there's like this needs like a, another tutorial for on its own but let's just say that these are your tries consider this as like an arena ticket so each fight will consume one of these um, energy burner and these guys these are the protect uh, protection signets basically uh, when you get higher in 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 tier in rank you'll uh, your hero list will get um weakened so you can't use this protection signets these uh, small shields will protect your heroes from uh, like getting weakened by the radiation of the void so when you click on this plus here you will protect a different faction so like let's say that i want to protect like this is my whole team is protected now from the radiation so my whole team have like 100 percent of their powers back so when you click just yeah you just kill them and and it goes on so after the season finishes you will get like the uh, these rewards according to what level you are in so i'm in valiant so i will get like 30k stellar shards and 16 like crystal transcendence you could be in pioneer or forerunner or whatever there is also a new mode called uh, dominator but it didn't get added to the game yet so yeah as you can see your current title is valiant it's valiant 5 so i'm going to get these rewards in like 10 hours okay the last one is the void arc which is another like crazy crazy mode you can get tons of resources here like when the season ends you will get like tons of rewards here and so there are like a few things you need to understand in this uh, in this mode so the first one is the navigation compass which is basically like you're going to you know fight bosses and collect you know eggs and stuff you have a chance to collect like uh, crystals so allow me to just zoom out so you will also fight like uh, teams here so you you can fight pvp pve team it's a crazy mode so you can just go and uh, have fun and uh, yeah you can i mean i'm smashing because i don't have time to explore a planet by planet so you can just go and explore it for yourself and the more heroes you have like six star and above the more heroes the more resources you will get back so you can leave like a hero in each of these nodes and you will get tons of resources back and a higher chance of getting an egg like uh, to hatch for a pet 
and here this is like the void orcs store so here you can buy like tons of resources with these uh innova crystals which you will get from exploring in the uh, navigation compass so you should save like four eggs and then you will buy like crystals and stone shards and uh, this is a tree material the void nar or canar it used to be uh, upgrade the tree and the list goes on so so this is a collector you should never upgrade this until you hit you hit like you buy all modes in the navigation compass so i bought like upgraded i upgraded this like to level 4 because i already like unlocked all levels here this one also will uh, increase like the bonuses for pvp and pve it will give you extra stats hp attack and speed and this is the arcane nexus so this will increase like the maximum quantity of uh, disintegrators this will increase uh, this integrates void lords defensive barriers allowed explorers to, to challenge them so this will increase like your um, your void uh, lords you're going to find in navigation compass i mean where is this yeah this this dude right here and yeah this is void arc you explore, you buy stuff, you upgrade when you finish and when the season ends you'll get like tons of star spawn uh, upgrade materials and you will get a mysterious egg so when you unlock this one this is like an egg chest so when you unlock this one you will get like a surprise egg it might be a chaotic egg it might be a somber egg or even entangled whatever so guys this is a full guide for uh the void the gate of the void so in order to unlock this mode you need to get a first e5 and once you get this e5 you will get um, tons of resources from this mode it will increase your team's stats overall it will give you tons of um, extra stuff and uh, yeah i mean this is the best i can do for now guys so I hope you enjoyed this one, if you do please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment down below if you need any tutorials I can create for you and uh, yeah I'll see you guys later so peace out.